Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And, uh, well, today something happened that is now giving us a new direction. And we're getting one step closer to the famous 22H2 update that will happen in the second half of this year for Windows 11. So until now, we, of course, um, since the release, have had the Windows 11 um, update that is uh, the first version, technically, which is 21H2. So it was officially released in the second half of last year. And this is what we've been running. We're right now at 22,000.556. There should be a bug fixing update uh, released uh, this week, so maybe today or tomorrow. Now, in the Insider builds, uh, and this is going to affect regular users, you know, even if you're not in, interested in being an Insider or what's happening there, what's happening there does impact what's happening here at some point. Today we got a merge. The dev channel and beta channel for Windows 11 have merged in the same build. That build is 22H2. That is what we're going to get in the second half of this year. So that means now we are pretty much in testing phase of what is officially um, a release of 22H2 that will happen later this year. There is, you know, what you have in there is what we'll see in the second half of this year. And basically, they've already decided, well, okay, this is done. We're moving on. We know that internally at Microsoft, they are already working on 23H2. What's that? That's what's going to happen next year. That's what's going to happen in the second half of next year. Remember, Windows 11 has a, a one update a year, one major update a year. But it does contain a lot of little changes here and there. So we had some features, a few little things here and there, added new apps. Some features happened to uh, arrive uh, in February, March, uh, February mostly. So all of this is uh, showing that there's two types of updates coming to Windows 11. There will be small things here and there, including new apps and some little changes from time to time. But the big update, which will bring some new features uh, that are not here yet, will happen uh, in uh, later this year. So what's happening from now is that we know 22H2 is now finished. It's going to be tested in the beta channel. That means that anything that happens uh, to be buggy or has problems will be fixed through that testing phase. We're in March, which means this is going to be tested for a long time. I think they want to make sure that things are all right. So March to at least probably most people think it's like October before we get it. So that means March to October, uh, enough time to test thoroughly Windows 11, make sure that it'll be all right. Is, um, can new features be added from now till then? Possibly, yes, a few little things can change, but don't expect to have a lot of changes. What also that means is if you're an insider in the dev channel, you can now move to the beta channel. And that also means that dev channel in a few weeks from now will be moving um, light years ahead into 23H2 or things that will be happening later um, this year or next year. So uh, all of this is moving now in another direction. That means um, even though we're still just March of 2022, um, we're going to start thinking about that big update coming in, uh, later in this year. Uh, it is interesting to note that um, Windows 10 will also get an update later this year, but we don't have any news or any indication. There's no testing being done in the release preview channels. This is kind of an interesting and weird thing. That also at the same time kind of tells us everything that's pretty big is going to happen on Windows 11 and anything that happens on Windows 10 will be very small cumulative updates that won't change much or do much on the system. So we're moving forward 
to uh, Windows 11 22H2. We're moving forward eventually starting 23H2 testing in the dev channel. And uh, we're just at a new milestone where we're moving on with Windows 11 builds and Windows 11 new versions. It's going to be interesting to see what uh, when it's released and what's going to happen. Um, that will also probably be the first version that maybe we'll be able to say, well, you know what? Anyone that wants to go to Windows 11 now, I think it's uh, it's a good idea. Um, that will be coming later this year. Of course, you can test that out if you wish. You can join the Insider program, go to the beta channel. You'll already have pretty much what's going to be happening this fall in the beta channel. But remember, that's test software. That means that you'll be testing. That means they could be buggy. And that means that you might have to install builds regularly. Not a good idea if you're using your main PC all the time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.